Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com. You know, every so often, the major labels do something so unaccountably intelligent that it's, it scares me to death. It just makes me wonder, why don't they always do something unaccountably intelligent? Why is so much of what they do so abysmally stupid? I don't know. Go figure. But what just popped up is this a 10-disc set of the music of Gabriel Piernay. Whoa, baby! I mean, talk about a surprise. Well, actually, we knew it was coming. I mean, we've been talking about it for a while now. But here it is. Warner has actually put this together. Somebody at Warner, probably somebody at Warner France, somebody somewhere did this intentionally. And they released it. And it'll probably only exist for like five minutes. Remember, they've already done big boxes of Roussel. There's an earlier box of Mio. I don't know if we covered that one. Maybe we should. I mean, they, they're, they're exploiting their French repertoire rather rather nicely, I have to say. And, and this is a, a really lovely, lovely box. Remember also the big boxes of Debussy and Berlioz and Offenbach and Massenet. And, you know, wow. Of course, they're all out of print now. They are ripe for reissue, which we may talk about at some future time. But in the meantime, let's see what's in here. I mean, this is just, wow, baby. Well, let's talk about Pierre first. Okay, what were his dates? Um, 1863 to 1937. He's known, if he's known at all today, for like the March of the Little Lead Soldiers or something like that. And also for the the March of the Unbelievably Adorable Little Fawn Critters from his ballet, Cydalise et le Chèvre Pied. You know, Cydalise and the, the Satyr or whatever a goat foot thing is. And, you know, it's a wonderful ballet. Oh my God, we've talked about it before. You really need to get the complete ballet. Um, it's still out there somewhere. I think you can find it. It used to be on, I think, Fuga Libre or Timpani. Timpani was the label, right? Um, what a great work. Absolutely fabulous. Well, he was a very, very good composer, but he was a, a real multifaceted guy. He was an organist. Of course, he took over from Franck at St. Clotilde. Everybody took over from Franck at St. Clotilde. I mean, that was a big deal. Um, and then he became conductor of the Concert Cologne when Monsieur Edouard Cologne, you know, dropped dead. And, and he kept that post until his death, when it was about 1937, I think we said. Yeah, somewhere in there. He made recordings. He wrote not a ton of music, but some very, very good music, including some beautiful choral oratorio-like works. I mean, really just an excellent composer, like most French composers, a wonderful craftsman. But also, uh, he, he had some genuine bouts of inspiration in there. And quite a few of them are here. So let's, let's have a look, shall we? Okay, first you get your little bookie, which is quite handy. And we have L'Oeuvre de Piano. That's the first four discs of the 10. Performed by Diane Anderson, who is a very fine pianist. I believe she's Belgian. She's, she's first class um, or Danish, one or the other. Danish, Belgian, Danish, whatever. She's good. Diane Anderson knows what she's doing. And there are some fantastic works in here. Most of these pieces are, are little sniglets, you know, 15 little pieces. And then the album for mes petites amies, album for my little friends, children's things. And then like little short hoogie googies. And ah, here we go. Six air à danser. And then let's see, trois pièces formant suite de concert. That's actually a major work. Those are, oh my God, 20 minutes long for the three of them. A prelude and fugetta, a nocturne in the form of a waltz and a symphonic etude. And then a really major work, the variations in C minor. Um, that is a big piece in four juicy movements. My goodness, it's 15, it's almost half an hour long. A really serious piece. Um, and then we have a, a passacaglia, which is 13 minutes of passacaglia. Uh, and let's see, and six posthumous pieces. And then we have, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, some other things. An impromptu for Lily Leskine on the harp and an organ prelude, Opus 29, number one. Okay, so that's keyboard stuff. And it's very enjoyable. 
No one ever plays it, but there are a couple of really major works. I mean, major works in 20th century French keyboard music that deserve to be played. So that's, that's discs one through four. Then we have to do discs five through eight. Yeah, the next four. I get it. How we get, well, we get to some orchestral stuff. We get Sidelis et le Chevre the two suites, not the complete ballet, but the two suites, and then Ramuncho, Overture on Popular Basque Themes. Beautiful, beautiful music. There's a suite there, too. And the Divertissement, Divertissement, so un thème pastoral. Yes, which is also a lovely work. Um, these are with the Orchestre du Théâtre National de l'Opéra de Paris under Jean-Baptiste Marie. Um, that's the Sidelis business and the rest, and Ramuncho and the other stuff is with Martinon and it's in the Martinon box, of course. Then we have some more orchestral stuff, beautiful stuff. The concert stuck for harp and orchestra. Oh, I love things for harp and orchestra. And this is good. This is a really good piece. You, you owe it to yourself to hear it. Then we have the March of the Little Lead Soldiers, naturally, and Image Ballet. Um, his ballet, Introduction and Divertissement Pastoral, which is gorgeous. And then Vien Viennoise, a suite of, of waltzes and blues cortege. He got into jazz, by the way. I mean, he was a very open-minded guy. It's a curious combination because he was into jazz and blues and popular music idioms, but also one of those French church organist Catholic guys. Um, so it's a very quixotic mix. And you can hear it here because the next work is Paysage Franciscan, three pieces for orchestra, which is all about, you know, um, Franciscan places and things like that. And then the cathedrals, prelude for a dramatic poem, uh, which is quite beautiful as well. Now, a lot of this music, his orchestral music was recorded on timpani and fuga libra and labels like that, Belgian, French, indie labels. So since these recordings were made and they were premier recordings, um, more stuff has turned up and been recorded. But this is still a wonderful way to get this stuff. We get, let's see, these are, these are, you know, this is with André Cliton and, and Jean-Pierre Jacquillat and Pierre Dervaux and people like that. Nothing not to love. Then we've got this big, juicy oratorio, The Children at Bethlehem. Two discs, no, one disc. It's one disc. Um, it also includes the Ronde des Fées and the Serenade in A Major with other people, including Dietrich Fischer Dieskau. But this is, uh, let's see, who's actually doing this? And Hartmut Hall with the piano and, and Michel Lasserre de Roselle with the Orchestre Philharmonique de Radio France. It's a beautiful little work, a wonderful Christmas work. It deserves to be played much more frequently in our, you know, general list of Christmas warhorse things that everyone does the same stuff. So that's nice. And then we've got his piano quintet, which is gorgeous. It's beautiful, beautiful work. Big sucker in three, three big movements. It's like almost 40 minutes long. Oh, yeah. Um, 35 minutes long. And his violin sonata, which is also quite lovely. This is with the Quatuor Viotti and Olivier Charlier Violon, violin, what the hell, and Jean Hubeau Piano. So that's nice. Then we've got two discs of historical recordings. And these are really fun. Now these were made from, let's see what it says here. It tells us on the back here, uh, 1926 or so to 1948. And you've got, let's see, You've got Giration, gyration, which is Divertissement Choreographique on a libretto by René Bizet and Jean Barrière, whatever that means. And it writes, it, he writes, this ballet dedicated to Mr. Robert Hecker was specially commissioned for the talking machine and published phonographically by Columbia. How's that for a wonderful little, little eight minute two sides of a 78 um, for 11 soloists. Nifty, isn't it? I don't think it's been recorded since, to be honest with you. And then we've got some songs and three pieces for violin, viola, and cello, um, which is lovely, and Impressions de Music Hall, which is exactly what you think it is. That's also been recorded in modern stereo. This is an arrangement for violin and piano. Um, and the the orchestral original has been recorded in modern stereophonic sound. 
Um, but this was arranged for violin and piano by Pierre Ney and, and Samuel Dushkin. Um, but this is a, not a recording by them. This is with Henry Merkel and Marie-Louise Bounier Caillard. Yeah. Uh, then we have the violin sonata again um, with Jean-Marie Daré at the piano. She was wonderful. She did a great Sasson piano concerto cycle. Remember that? And Miguel Candela violin. And then Fragonard, comedy musical, comedy musical in trois actes. Trois actes. It's a musical comedy in three acts. You think we're ever going to hear it? Nah, these are just excerpts. Um, this is That was disc 10, by the way. In disc 9, we've got his flute sonata in D major, which is the violin sonata played by a flute. Get it? Franck wasn't the only one to have that done to him. Then you've got a bunch of little, little, little short pieces, an introduction and variations on a popular round for saxophone quartet. Mm-hmm. And let's see, some more stuff. Uh, vari free variations and finale for flute, violin, viola, cello, and harp. The Voyage au Pays du Tendre, which whatever the heck that thing is. And then we've got uh, his Sonata da Camera and the Canzonetta, Opus 19. Okay, that's all this stuff here. Uh, and I think it's plenty to get to know him. I, I, I you know, you could do a complete Pierre edition. It wouldn't have that many stuff that many works in it. He's got about 50 opus numbers. He was very well organized. But this is a delight, this box. It really is. For those of you who want some really lovely, beautiful French instrumental music and some vocal music as well, um, you're going to want this and you want to get it while you can because I suspect it's not going to last that long. You know how these things go. So keep on listening, friends. Take care.